All right guys, today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my favorite Brussels sprout recipe. Now the recipe does come from Joshua Weissman's latest cookbook and you might be thinking I don't have the cookbook, but lucky for you, it doesn't matter because I bought it and I'm gonna be sharing with you with the recipe in about 30 seconds. You're welcome. Now Thanksgiving is upon us and last year you probably thought, mm, I could do better. Well this year is your year because I'm gonna show you how to make the best Brussels sprouts known to men. Let's begin. We begin with the star of the show, the sauce. To prep, peel a two inch knob of ginger using a spoon. Not sure who originally discovered the spoon's versatility, but whoever you are, we thank you. Grate the ginger as shown here and set aside. Next, thinly slice one to two jalapenos or serrano peppers. I made this for both my wife and I, and let's just say she prefers more sweet than heat. So I only used one jalapeno here, but by all means, use your discretion. In a medium saucepan, set to medium high heat and add in a half cup each of sugar, white distilled vinegar, and soy sauce. Next, add a quarter cup of fish sauce and orange juice, the grated ginger from earlier, and the spicy pepper of your choice. Cook on medium high heat for three to five minutes. In the meantime, combine one and a half tablespoons of water and equal parts cornstarch into a bowl and whisk together to form a slurry. Then add your slurry to the sauce and allow it to come back to a boil and thicken. Looking good. Turn off the heat and add in four cloves of chopped garlic, which I forgot to film earlier, but you've all seen garlic chopped before. Let steep for five minutes before straining the sauce and discarding the solids. For the Brussels sprouts, we are using both fresh and frozen in order to determine which is the most ideal product for this particular recipe. If you're gonna go frozen, I suggest using the unseasoned frozen Brussels sprouts that are already cut in half. If you're gonna go fresh, I'm gonna show you how to prepare them now. When prepping your sprouts, make sure to remove as little of the bottom as possible. Remove the most outer layer of leaves to prevent them from falling off and burning when frying. Oh yeah, did I mention we're deep frying these? Cause we are. In a heavy bottom pot, pour in two and a half inches of either canola or vegetable oil. Let the oil come up to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 190 degrees Celsius before carefully dropping in your sprouts. If you're using frozen sprouts, go to 400 degrees Fahrenheit because it's going to drop the temperature of the oil significantly. We're looking to cook these in batches at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 176 degrees Celsius for about three to five minutes or until golden brown. Here's what the frozen and fresh sprouts look like side by side. While still hot, season with salt and spoon your sauce onto the sprouts. The sauce is potent, so err on the side of caution. You can always add more after you taste test. Now toss together in a bowl to coat the sprouts evenly with sauce. Now let's find out if you should be using fresh or frozen sprouts to yield the best results for this recipe. Okay, we have a clear winner, although it's kind of like choosing between a puppy and an entire lifetime supply of ice cream because they're both fantastic. The winner is the fresh Brussels sprouts, um, but you really can't go wrong with either. Guys, I hope you try this recipe soon. It's tangy, it's sweet, it's spicy, it's absolutely delicious. If, if, that, that, that. if you like it a little bit spicier, then I would suggest putting two jalapenos in or even a serrano pepper as suggested in the book. As always, keep busy, stay healthy, be happy, and I will see you in the next one.